Hi, Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today what we are going to do is we are going to learn how to convert all our references from manual to any EndNote or Zotero or Mendeley software. So the fastest way to convert is that you open the references uh, the word file and, and then Google Scholar on the right hand side and just double click the reference that you have used, copy it and paste it in Google Scholar and one by one when the paper is found luckily I am finding one at a time so you might not find it you have to search it in the list when you find that correct paper just press star button and do it for all the papers when you finish it then then we will convert it into an you know, order so I am going to do it few more and after that I will show you how to uh, do it for uh, do it convert it into a software there are some references like this you have to do that manually because they might not be available in Google Scholar so what I will do is I will highlight it so that I will do it later on manually in the software that I will use then I will go for the next one press enter here I found that reference so make it a star here I will add few points that the quality of the references that you have made will help you in finding them quickly. If you are writing and you are citing them correctly with the correct title name and author names and journal name, you will be able to find them faster. Otherwise, what will happen is that the more time will take, it will take more time for them to be sorted from the documents. Also, when you are recording, you might see this because you are searching too many articles quickly. So, Google Scholar will ask if you are a robot or not. So, when you press it, it will be cleared and it will ask some question. You can see where are the traffic lights. So, I verified it and the output will appear again. When you finish adding all your references, can go into Google Scholar and go into my library and here all your added papers are shown in this list what you have to do is you have to press the export button press all and you press the export button and convert it into endnote format fman or bibtex so even if you convert it to endnote and it will show you a file and download it here ok so this way you have cited what you can do is I will show you how to add it into Zotero so I will open the Zotero and in that I will go there and import and next I will go in downloads and click, click the citations and place into a new collection so I will take it up so that it will make a new folder and when I do it it will import the references and it is imported 10 items so what you have to do is you have to go back and go to page number 2 and similarly download all the pages one by one so what I can do is that I can go for all pages at once like this I will download them again and this way I will have all the files so I have downloaded all of them so I am going to import these files and I will import from 2 to first second one and I will place it in portal collection portal collection of new items yes and link it to original location uh, copy first or yes to its second folder then I will go with code again code again and then I will select the third one similarly we will add all of them this one number of files you create the method that I used here is actually useful for all softwares but for the case of Zotero what you can do is that it can also add the references which were not there like I can open this statistical world energy file on website 
can find this yes this is the page what I can do is once you find it you can I have added a plugin of Zotero connector you can just click connect this file and it will go into a folder where I want to add so I will add it in citations it yes so if I add it so I can go into citations one press it it will be added so this way you can add uh, the non article references but this function is not commonly available in other softwares even if there are but I am not aware of so I will open world development indicators so that I can add the website or blogs like this newspaper article website blogs so I will open the website and I will, when the website is open what you can do is you can go there connector and add it in one press done so if you go in the end note you will notice that the websites are there so you can open them and their reference is shown here Okay, so this way I have added all the references. What we can do is we can cut all of them, uh, we can move them, move the items to other folder. So, what I can do is I will do cut. Let me see. So, what you can do is that select all in citation 3 folder, move them into citation 1 folder. So, you can see that it has been populated and I have copied from there now from 4, now from 5, now from 6, now from 7, now from 8. This way, all the citations are moved to citation number 1. What now you have to do is in your document. You have to replace the citation one by one. So I will go to the top and I will see if I can find yes. So this is one reference. So what I can do is come here and go in Zotero and find this reference. So it will ask to do an APA7. Okay. And there will be a dialog box to write Thomas. It will show Thomas and Resinio. So I try to put it at the side so that you can see it's this one. Okay. And when you press it enter, citation will come and you can remove the other. This way and let me show you where there are more than one like here. So if I go here where there are more than one, so add the note and now it's Shabazz Sinha 2019. Yes, the first one is here. Then I will go for B L C I L A R. This is second, and now these are the two here. So when I do is it will show like this, and I will remove the the one. So this way you can add uh, all the references. And now how can you show the which one are and not based or uh, this based? So if you press keep your cursor here to show this highlight to this mean it is entered via software and these one are not so this way you will replace all of them and this way you will have a document where all the references are made using uh, note or digital software